Hello, my name is Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology. I'm here today to tell you about the most exciting development in graphics has been for some time. We're introducing the Sapphire HD5870 graphics adapter based on the latest graphics architecture from the ATI division of AMD. This new processor from AMD is built in their 40 nanometer technology and now has 1600 stream processors, which is double the number of the previous generation. One of the most exciting things about this new hardware is it's the first graphics architecture to be fully compliant with the forthcoming DirectX 11 from Microsoft. Microsoft DirectX 11 will be part of the new Windows 7 operating system and will also be available in Windows Vista as a patch. One of the most important things about DirectX 11 is the ability to use Direct Compute 11. DirectX 11 opens up for developers of games and other software a whole load of new instructions and possibilities that couldn't be done in previous generations. To fully support DirectX 11 features, you do need to have DirectX 11 hardware. If you have DirectX 10 hardware, it will support Direct Compute 10, but not Direct Compute 11. Previous generations of ATI hardware were able to support a feature known as tessellation. This allows the basic wireframe of the objects in a game to be enhanced so that you get a much higher level of detail. This could be programmed directly in previous generations, but now is supported by uh, the DirectX 11. Direct Compute 11 also allows the programmers to handle transparent objects, shadows, and do a whole load of lighting tricks that were not possible in previous generations of DirectX. Another feature in DirectX 11 is the ability for the central processor, the CPU, if it's a multi-core processor, any number of those cores can talk directly to the graphics card at the same time. In previous generations of DirectX, it was only possible for one CPU core to exchange information with the graphics card. The Sapphire 5870 is the fastest graphics processor we've ever had, but it can also be used for other computing tasks. ATI Stream is a free piece of software which is part of the graphics drivers now that allows the GPU to carry out other tasks such as um, processing physics or transcoding of videos or things like that. And the multiprocessor architecture of the GPU means that it can do those tasks much faster than a CPU. Another feature of the Sapphire HD5870 and the new graphics architecture from AMD is the ability to support multiple screens from one graphics chip. This means that we can support up to three monitors with the standard card. The monitors don't have to be in a regular array. You can have them in landscape mode or portrait mode and you can assign the images to them however you want. So this means that it opens up possibilities for information systems and multimedia displays as well as for multi-screen gaming which is going to really appeal to the enthusiasts. You might think that the fastest graphics card on the planet is going to use huge amounts of power from your PC. But actually, because it's built in AMD's 40 nanometer process, the power consumption is relatively low. We're talking about less than 190 watts when active, but the boys at AMD have done a great job with the power management in this chip, and it has an amazingly low power consumption of only 27 watts when it's idling. Like previous generations of our ATI-based graphics cards, the Sapphire HD5870 has a built-in hardware UVD. That's a universal video decoder which enables you to watch Blu-ray or HD movies. For the first time in the HD5870, we're actually able to simultaneously stream two 1080p video streams. So the Sapphire HD5870 is not only the fastest graphics card on the planet today, but is also the first piece of hardware to properly support DirectX 11 and all of the exciting new features that that will bring to your PC. Before I go, I'd just like to give you a sneak preview of something else that Sapphire is going to be doing. Um, previous generations of our card, we've always brought out special editions. We've been innovators in cooling solutions throughout the years. And like with our previous generation of cards, we will be introducing a new VaporX model based on the VaporX technology, which has been highly reviewed in the past on our previous cards and will give us the ability to run this new card even quieter and cooler than before and maybe squeeze a little bit of extra performance out of it. This is Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology. Thank you for watching.